I, I think that what's going to happen is as liberal democracies fail, that we will revert to older forms of government. We will bring back older forms of government, and that will include things like dictatorship. Very interesting. Charles Geretti says, thoughts on modern Russia being a potential future for European people's survival? They have remained strong in traditional Christian white values. That's a very good thought. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, Russia, I don't feel connected with Russia, but it's true that within the last few years, and I think it's the 2016 campaign that made me realize, oh, Russia is not doing so bad. And maybe, maybe there is some form of uh, latent nationalism there that is more powerful than what we could even reach in America or France. What are your thoughts about Russia? Well, I, I am the publisher of articles like Emile Durand's White Nationalist Delusions about Russia. There are memes about Russia that float around among white nationalists that are frankly delusional. And I first encourage you, if you, uh, if you want to talk about Russia, to read Emile Durand's article, White Nationalist Delusions About Russia. There are a lot of delusional things that white nationalists believe about Russia. I don't put a lot of hope in Russia. I think Russia is very much analogous to America in the sense that it is a continental empire like America with a core European population. That, that's true. It's normatively European. Its core population is European. But it expanded out into this vast continent and created an empire and encountered and absorbed lots of non-European peoples during its time. Uh, and it is possessed by an ideology and a sense of identity that is anti-nationalistic. Russian nationalism is really imperialist in its, uh, in its implications and definition. Uh, and this formed very, very early on. This formed really under Tsar Alexander, not Alexander, uh, Ivan III. Uh, in the 16th century, after the, the, the Mongol yoke was finally thrown off, basically what a Russian became at that point was a person who spoke Russian, who was of an Orthodox Christian, and who was ruled from Moscow. And unfortunately, at that time, that included many people who were former Mongols, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Mongol aristocrats, people like that uh, within his territory. And so uh, there has been this ideology, this, this conception of nationhood that, that's not defined in biological terms, but in creedal terms. And it's also connected with a certain messianic mentality. And I look at that and I think, my God, this is, I mean, the content is different, but the, the basic form is so similar to America. Americans have uh, this messianic, uh, creedal conception of na nationality. It's, it's not the only um, conception of nationality, but it's certainly the dominant one in America. And, you know, we're supposed to spread global democracy to the world and be a light unto the world. And the, the Russians have similar attitudes. And I feel like the Russians need a lot of work to throw off this imperial ideology. And there are Russian ethno-nationalists who are very critical of this ideology because they realize that uh, the Russian people who are the core of the society are being undermined and replaced ethnically uh, by other people because of this ideology. And the, the, the ideology works to liquidate the founding population of Russia in the very same way that American civic nationalism and the American dream and all this nonsense works to undermine the ethnic core of the American population. Beyond that, Russia has terrible demographic problems. They have, and terrible social problems, enormous amounts of drug and alcoholism uh, abuse, uh, very high rates of abortion and illegitimacy. Uh, and a lot of people say, oh, Russia is a healthy conservative society. Well, it's, it's actually not. It's an incredibly degenerate society. And, and uh, I, I just think that a lot of us are projecting what we wish on Russia rather than, than what's, what's true. And I think that's a manifestation of a sort of man on the white horse somebody will come in and save us uh, attitude. The, a lot of us want 
to believe things like that because things are so bad. Uh, we hope that salvation will come from some powerful country that really believes what we believe. And I think a lot of people project that on Putin, just like a lot of white nationalists, amazingly, <laughs> during American uh, presidential campaigns, will project uh, their, their desires on as unlikely a candidate as someone like Mitt Romney. I had people saying, I think a Romney presidency would be good for white people. And I was just tearing my hair out. What, what delusional thinking is this? But people want to believe that somebody in power somewhere believes what we believe and will swoop in to save us. As far as I know, um, Putin is, is, is a somewhat socially conservative civic nationalist. And civic nationalism plus social conservatism is actually worse than civic nationalism plus total paused liberal degeneracy for this reason, that a socially conservative civic nationalist will have a more stable society. The trouble is, is that when you have a stable multiracial civic nationalist society, that means that with anti-white demographic trends baked into its structure, that means that it's less likely to suffer some catastrophic breakdown that would free the core white population from these anti-white demographic trends. And that's what we would really want. So I've always been very, very concerned uh, about conservative civic nationalists who, who would just keep the, the present race replacement di dynamic in place, but they would make sure that the economic system is fine-tuned and doesn't break down. Uh, I was bouncing with the, the Ron Paul people years ago. I said, look, Ron Paul, if he gets in office, the only thing we're going to have in 50 years is a brown society with sound money. I don't want that, <laughs> right? So uh, there, there's a danger to somebody like Putin, really. I, I think Putin is more dangerous to the ethnic genetic interests of genuine Russians than a Russian equivalent of Hillary Clinton would be. Wow. Because a Russian Hillary Clinton would run the society into the ground far faster and maybe allow the Russians to break away from the present system. So that's food for thought.